please welcome co-founder and partner at SeedStars, Alize Dotonak. Good afternoon, everyone. Five trillion dollars per year. Now, what is the relationship between this number and all these entrepreneurs in blue hoodies? Well, first of all, five trillion dollars per year is the amount needed to reach the sustainable development goals of the UN by 2030. And the good news is, is more and more people are interested in supporting these goals, especially after the crisis in 2008. Surprisingly enough, Switzerland, which is a leading center for wealth and asset management, is also the place that ranks highest when we search for impact investing on Google. So maybe one of the reasons why you are here today with us. And indeed, impact investing allocation is growing. So over the past five years, it has multiplied by five to reach 114 billion assets under management. Big players like Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, are actually either acquiring, in impact, uh, acquiring impact funds, investing in them, or allocating a certain percentage to impact. And just recently, Partners Group announced that they were going to raise, a, that they closed a fund of one billion that was going to invest in, invest in, to invest in investments that are going to support the sustainable development goals. Now, why do we say that we're only at 1% of our ambitions? Or maybe symbolically, I can compare to the allocation of impact investment that Goldman Sachs has today, comparing to their 1.3 trillion assets under management. So there's still a long way to go. But we're at the right time, because this generation that will be managing the money wants to push forward. You see, the so-called millennials, actually 76% believe that their investment decision is, will be a way to reflect their social, environmental, and political views. And they do believe that we can do business with a purpose. Surprisingly enough, even though we many times believe millennials is a developed world construct, actually, most millennials are located in emerging markets. And thanks to globalization, social media, internet, well, they are connecting more and more and having very similar attitudes and views around the world. It's also a generation of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs that are much more comfortable with technology, extremely impatient, sometimes too much, but also quite positive about the future, making them the main drivers for change. And so it's no wonder that we see that entrepreneurship is more and more a sign of success, because they are witnessing the leapfrogging that is happening around them. And so they are the ones with this attitude, it's possible. So on one hand, you have impact investing taking a rise, and on the other hand, you have the rise in power of this new generation that is doing business with a purpose. Looking into impact investing and its allocation, even though 85% of the world population is located in emerging markets, only 44% is allocated to impact investing. And we believe that much more can be allocated, but for this, we need better and more investment opportunities. Looking at the Seed Stars analysis through the Seed Stars Index, what we realize is there are too few opportunities, but many times because the startup ecosystems are too nascent, making it difficult to absorb more capital. And if you zoom in to more mature ecosystems, like Shanghai or New Delhi, what you see is that actually, even though they are still far from the most mature ecosystems like Tel Aviv or Silicon Valley, they have reached that level of being able to absorb more capital. 
Because when you look at the global allocation of venture capital investments, since Seedstars has been created in, back in 2013, the allocation to Asia, which is basically China and India, has risen from 7 billion to 70 billion in 2017. And yes, the ecosystems are going to mature in very different ways. We're not saying that it's going to be the same road path as it has been the case for Silicon Valley. Just one example is, for example, the investor profiles. Here we see that corporate investment has a much bigger participation in VC investments in Asia, for example. So, how do we build more and better opportunities so that we can invest more in these markets? Maybe let's step back and look at the life cycle of a company, which goes from ideation to the valley of death to breaking even and then finally growing exponentially. And for each phase, we have tried to find instruments our partners and Seedstar's ambassadors here are putting in place different elements so that we can build this ecosystem and support the entrepreneur from the beginning until the end. So from ideation, for example, we look at events such as the Seedstar Summit, such as the Seedstar's World Competition, hackathons, launch pads, co-working spaces to train, inspire and connect entrepreneurs. And this is happening all over the world proving that there are role models like the ones you will meet this afternoon, proving that success breeds success and that it is possible. And of course, this goes also with training and providing the right skill sets. Secondly, if we want to accelerate great companies, we need to understand that we need to, in many ways to accelerate great talent. And so what better way to learn how to launch a company, build a startup, than learning from more experienced entrepreneurs? Such is the case of the Seedstars Ac Academy, where Daniel was part of our Legos batch and learned how to prototype and scale his own business. Or including the partnerships with public and private institutions, like it is the case with the government of Ivory Coast, where we are training over 100 wannabe entrepreneurs in specific industries. And then, of course, you accelerate, providing the right methodologies, the right network, the right infrastructure, so that the companies hopefully grow exponentially like it is the case of Carlos from Bolivia that was part of our accelerator batch of 2017. Now, I'm not saying that every entrepreneur needs to be accelerator, accelerated and every accelerator program is good. What we see, however, what we witness, is that in more nascent ecosystems, these types of instruments actually make a huge difference. For example, here, if you compare startups that were accelerated in Cairo versus companies that were not accelerated, we realize that they have a much higher chance of fundraising their first round, something that fades out in more mature ecosystems. So what have we been doing for the past five years? Well, through our alumni, just to give you a bit of a sense, they have created over 2,000 jobs, fundraised over 100, nearly $100 million and generated over $70 million in revenues per year. And even though these are still small numbers compared to the $5 trillion per year, what we tend to underestimate and forget is the multiplier effect. Because each one of these entrepreneurs are going to, in due time, mentor, train, invest, work in a company and transfer knowledge. And that multiplier effect is going to have an increasing impact on these ecosystems. Like it is the case, for example, of Vincent Casares, who is one of the successful entrepreneurs in Latin America, and mentions that much of his success he owes to the support initially of the foundation Endeavor that is here to help entrepreneurs around the world. That's one guy. If you zoom out at a nation level, there is a study that shows that just in India, impact, invested, impact investing has benefited 60 to 80 million people. 
So from one guy to 80 million people to billions of people is what we should expect. And more interestingly enough, impact can be profitable. Doing good can make money. If you look at this sample of the impact investment of the case in India, the report shows that it actually had an average return of 11%, a spread that went from minus 50 to 160, but a median return of 10%, which means that half of its investment generated more than 10% return. So, what is the relationship between these blue hoodies and the $5 trillion needed to be invested per year? Well, this is the generation, extremely enthusiastic, maybe too impatient, but that is going to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. Join us to have an even faster and bigger impact for this generation and the next generation. Welcome to the Seed Star Summit. Thank you.